You're here. I was so scared to lose you. Stop this charade. I know everything. Ah. Uh. I've seen it. The violence. That rage in your eyes. <sighs> What's it gonna be? Drowned? Choked to death? What are you talking about? The reason you got with my mother. The reason she died. The only reason you've been pretending to take care of me. So far. Uh, I don't understand. Honest. Obviously. Listen. This has been a hard day for everyone. Tell me from the start. Starting with your diploma. Ought passed. Not me. You didn't? Oh, no. Does it even matter at this point? What happened? As always, the same thing. You. You're a drummer. What? Because of this lie, they inflicted a 40-point penalty. That's a mistake. I told you, I was only a temporary cop. I'll tell your director. She will... <laughs> Good luck with that. She just exploded, didn't she? Why, by the way? I'd like to know. Uh, she saved us all. I'll find another way. You know what's worse? You're starting to rub off on me. I couldn't admit defeat, so I tried to cheat. You what? That hacker. He said he could change the results. I accepted a deal. How? What deal? <sighs> uh, at least... Did it work? I guess not. He sent squealers after us. We got kidnapped. I... I thought we were going to die. In those filthy sewers. You weren't there. I know. I'm... I'm... Sorry. I looked for you. But things got complex on my side as well. Uh, to say the least. But I don't care what it takes. You deserve to be a drummer. I'll walk through fire for you. I'll do... Anything. You gotta believe me. Uh, yeah. How far would you go, huh? To get what you want. That rat. It was him, wasn't it? Can't you see? He's turned you against me. He has a grudge. For what reason? Say it! Uh, uh, I'm not sure. A lie! Another lie! I swear! Ever since the accident, I've lost some memories. And I know it's the same for you. Why won't you understand? Because... I've got proof! A picture? This happened at a Tarkism day. You were there. You're responsible for the banishment of their clan. I... could not... It's a fake! Obviously. Really? Prove it. Well... Look, I couldn't have this hat. You offered it to me when we moved into this apartment, remember? So... I got this hat four years after this picture supposedly took place. It's a fake. Mm. I don't believe it. Those squealers. They have no access to technology like this. They couldn't fake it. Yet they did. Ott said something earlier. Can someone really be family when they spend their life lying to the people close to them? You said you had no more secrets. But you lied to me. Again. How many times has it been already? I don't get it. Take a look. Uh, that bank account. That's my mother's name. Explain. Why didn't you ever tell me? It's my inheritance. No, she did open that account years ago. But this money, it's not hers. You mean it's yours? Yes. N no way. He was right. Wait, listen to me. Maybe you won't believe me, but here in the slums, there's no way to open a savings account. When I was put in charge of you, I I knew you'd want to become a drummer someday. But your mother, she was the spender type. There was nothing left. I couldn't bear the thought of you starting a life under the dome with zero credit, so I saved up money on this account. For you. <clears throat> You're right. I don't believe it. It's the truth. 50 unis each day by automatic wire transfer. It's been almost six years. Do the math. 
I... I wanted to make this a surprise for the day you'd move to the drums. Newsflash! This will never happen! <sighs> wait. Wait. You're telling me we've been living this horrible existence despite having access to all this money? All these times I've been starved! Miserable! For nothing? Mm, not for nothing. Fifty units alone ain't much, but accumulated over six years, it would give you a better life. Outside of this junk area. A better life? You know how you could achieve this? By getting out of it. Please, don't. I... I'm really sorry. Sorry won't cut it. That squealer was right. You only bring problems to all the people around you. Listen. Get out of here! I'm almost an adult. I don't need you anymore. You're being unfair. Can't you see? I did all of this for you. I just saved our world. And that's how you repay me. Saved? From my point of view, you just destroyed that robot. No, countless bots. You've destroyed our rulers. My teacher, Ott's uncle. And if we hadn't been here, you would have beaten that squealer to death. And who knows how many others? Destroy. That's the only thing you do. You destroy everything around you. Everything's your fault. Hey. Ah! Don't touch me! Stay away! I... I can defend myself. Are you... afraid of me? You know I'd never hurt you. I... I don't know what to think. All I know is... I don't want you around anymore. I'm sick of your lies. You've been using me. All you care about is the money. Well, guess what? The money is gone! What? I paid the hacker with it. A hundred thousand unis. And now, I guess they've evaporated. Vanished. Are you insane? What have you done? For years, I killed myself to save this money through blood, sweat, and tears. Work? Is that a new word for stealing? Like you did with those squealers yesterday? How could you do this? I had no choice! I had to try and fix the mess you've caused! The mess I have caused? You think everything's easy for me? I never asked for any of this. I had never raised a child, and I shouldn't. No kidding! <sighs> My mother. I barely remember her. And yet, I hate her. All she ever did was make me and die. How dare you? I forbid you to talk about your mother like this. Who cares? She's dead. Stop. Now you've gone too far. What are you gonna do? Kill me? Like you killed her? I... never. Oh, I don't blame you for this. She deserved it anyway. She was trash, a bag of decaying worms. Like you. Enough! <laughs> no! Graf! You... you're okay. <sighs> Leave me alone. You heard me. Go away! Son. No! I'll never be your son! You're not my father! You'll never be! It's over. I'm stuck in this dump forever. I... I don't deserve this. No, maybe I do. My back hurts. Must be my punishment for saying all these things. He saved us. Saved me. And once again, all I did was... You're wrong. I don't deserve a good future. It's my fault. <sighs> a notification? <sighs> it's that guy.
I'm sorry, but I need to ask. do. <sighs> I... I think I understand. Today, Dee said I saved our world, but it feels more like an ending to me. Like, I wasted the biggest part of my life. Lost the remaining person I truly cared about, who kept me living, surviving thus far. Graf. You're right. The more I try to make things right, the more I ruin your life. Was this really my plan from the start? I... I can't even remember. Only one thing is for certain. Because of me, you'll never live your dreams. You'll never become a drummer. Graf, Leah, everyone. I hurt everyone who gets close to me. Maybe I'm truly cursed. Maybe... Maybe it's time to end this, once and for all. <sighs> no, I... I can't stop fighting yet. I just don't know... how to quit. <sighs> I better go home. Tomorrow's another day. Hmm? Um, letter? Hi, Brock. Forgive me. Blaming you for everything that went wrong in my life. This wasn't fair. I know. You didn't take me for the money. Yet. The truth is, I can't go on like this. I guess this will come as a shock to you. But, let's face it. Things never really worked between us. I'll be 16 in a few days. An adult. I can take care of myself. There's no reason for me to rely on you anymore. I've been a burden for too long. I've decided to live my own life. Soon, I will pay you back all that money. I'm determined. I'm leaving. And I won't be coming back. Please, don't follow me. Don't call me. Just go on with your life. You have the right to make a fresh start for yourself as well. Thank you for the few moments of joy we've shared. I will never forget you. Graf. Oh, he's... he's gone. I... I definitely lost him. What? What am I supposed to do now? You say I should make a fresh start. How could I ever do that? Grandpa, Leah, and now you? If only I had another chance. I'd do things differently, but it's too late now. This envelope. Oh, yeah. Shay. I've hidden something from you. Be a detective. Hmm? That's all? Yeah, nothing else. What does she mean? And how could she know? Shay, you've always been very good at giving me food for thought. Huh. Hmm. <sighs> Got nothing better to do right now anyway. You win, girl. I will solve your riddle. Yesterday, when crossing the dark alley, I had an awful feeling. It seemed like I just woke up after dying. I've had many fights in my life. Several times I've been on the brink of death, and yet I have never felt this before. What was that? It's curious, but Shay doesn't think anything could happen to me. I've noticed it many times. Of course, this could simply mean she has great trust in me, and I thought as much. But now that I put these facts together, there must be another meaning behind this. Did Shay save me through some unusual means? This letter, 
She knew. It's obvious. She knew I would have one of the worst days of my life, spiraling into this bottomless pit I'm currently in. But how? Yeah, I'm often depressed, but never that much. And if she did save me in that alley the other day, how could she anticipate it either? This sounds crazy, but can she somehow predict the future? Ever since Shay announced she was closing the garage for the day, I had a feeling she was hiding something from me. We've known each other for years. This has never happened before, so it must be very important. What's the only thing she wouldn't let me take a look at? That new invention! What could it be? That picture is intriguing, to say the least. Raph is right. It can't be fake. Those squealers do not possess the appropriate technology. It's also pretty clear their leader's hatred against me was genuine. He expressed it as soon as he recalled me. That darn squealer was ready to take revenge. Otherwise, he wouldn't have gone as far as kidnapping Graf and trying to kill him. But I hadn't met him until two days ago. And though my memory's a mess, I didn't even get that hat until four years later. So, what's the explanation? Either I've got a doppelganger, or this really happened. For sure, there are weird things happening. I'm all about doppelganger theories, but the probability of that happening is very slim. And it's clearly me, that picture. Which means, I was there four years ago? And that feeling in the dark alley, it felt like uh, a memory. As for Shay predicting the future, I don't think such a thing is possible. Shay is a scientist, and she often says this, when there's too much coincidence, it's no longer a coincidence. So that leaves only one possibility. Could the events currently happening have already happened? Even if I'm not aware of it? Maybe they've been changed. I'm becoming afraid of what I'm about to find out. It's pretty obvious. All the items she asked me to retrieve are parts for this new invention. But I'm left wondering, what could she need this ultra-precise timer for? Maybe this chit-chat about space-time theories wasn't so random after all. Although I don't have a lot of clues about what she has been working on, I clearly remember its shadow. An egg shape is quite unusual. What Dr. Gherkin said earlier stuck with me. Eggs are used to symbolize loops. I know Shay. She never does anything without a purpose. If she chose that specific form, it must be crucial. So, this new machine can... Uh, loop? If only I knew what this means. Uh, Shay, why do you have to be so secretive? Alright, so, memories and proof of things that didn't happen. You and your obsession with space-time theories, and I seem to be the only one experiencing this. Again, I don't believe in coincidences, so, Shay, it's your invention, isn't it? This is totally a crazy thought, but can it alter events?
Shay would have used that machine to save me. I had that encounter with the Squealer leader. Their defeat never happened. Which is why I can't remember it? Wait. That doesn't make any sense. How could an invention change an event that already definitely happened? Unless, uh, time loop. No way. She's building a... I... Am I losing it? Wes, a robot determined to destroy our world? That was already totally nuts. But this... <sighs> nah, I must be wrong. It's been a long day. My brain is a mess. I've simply made way too many assumptions. For all I know, she's probably building a giant coffee machine that can wash itself. Or even a brainwashing robot that cuts hair. Hmm. Huh? That's right. What a fool I am. There's another possible and much more logical explanation. Could that machine suppress memories? Did I already use it? That would certainly explain a lot. I'm getting confused. Ah, uh, my head. It's more than I can handle. Stop. I, I have to go out and see for myself. But before that, just in case you come back. Shay, are you offering me a chance? Or did you take parts of my life away from me? Maybe both? I'm dizzy and anxious, but I need to know. Closed. Shay warned me. But this lock, that's new. A keyboard, three slots, noun plus verb plus noun is written down. Hmm. Looks like I need to enter three words. Hmm. Master Brock, I was expecting you. Huh? You are right on time. Everything is ready. Great, but what is ready exactly? Take a look. No way! Could she really build a machine like this? With some junk collected here and there? That's the shell. The junk is inside. There's no handle or anything. Shay? You in there? She's not inside, Master Brock. Just checking. A chronology. Huh. I won't think twice about this. I'll set it to five years ago. A week before the fire. This way, either I'll be able to change the events, or I'll lose all memories of the past five years. It's fine either way. It's obvious. I'm supposed to place something here. But... what? No doubt about it. It's glowing. Brighter than ever. Made of heptamide. The most powerful machine must need the most powerful energy source. Whoa! It's working! My pendant. It's not glowing anymore. Did the machine absorb its energy? So, how do I... Stand back. The egg... talked? Everything's ready. Come. Hmm. Well, this is it. After I enter this, there's no turning back. My fate will be changed. Forever. I have to do this. Oh boy. Good thing I'm not claustrophobic. Shay, I'm trusting you on this. Let's go. Starting in three, two, one. Goodbye, Master Brock. When you come back, please remember me. Save me. Save us all.
all. Oh. What's this place? This can't be the inside of the machine, can it? What the? Do not pay attention to my appearance. Who are you? A remnant from your last passage here. Last passage? This is the place where all memories are shared. My memories? Not just yours. This whole universe. Wait, have I been here already? I thought you would have realized by now. Everything has already happened. Everything will happen again. Does this mean... I have no free will? Like, I'm responsible for banning the squealers? But I do not want that. If I go back, can I change anything? You can. Ask yourself the real question. Do you want to? Hmm. Yes. I want to change destiny. Not for me. For the ones close to me. Then go. Enter the void. Don't be afraid. This is a long journey, but at the end of it, everything will be fine. How can I trust you? Trust yourself. It all depends on you. Thanks, past me or whatever you are. All right, it's time. At that instant, my consciousness seemed to fade away. I was slowly slipping into the unknown, into the void. My last investigation was completed. Over the last three days, I had unchained the slums from a perilous threat, but I failed to extricate from my own fate. So many thoughts came to mind. I tried my best to hold on to a single one. I could care less if my whole existence would get erased from time and space. I could care less if I would lose all my memories. Only one thing mattered. You. All these years, you were there. I wouldn't have had the strength to go on without you. This is why. I'm gonna fix my mistakes. I'll make things right for you. I won't give up. No matter what. As long as I live, I'll find a way. I will rewrite history with you. Because... I love you, Rav. Thank goodness, the pills are back in stock. You know what happened? What happened? of God. He has shown mercy upon us. Our prayers have been answered. Maybe someone just worked out that mess with the pipe pills. Of course, a messenger from the Almighty. After all, we are all his flock, even those who doubt as you do. I suppose so. Let us pray to the Untail. Big sale, folks. Lovely little statue, only ten unis. Those drones just won't work. I should... Oh. Oh, no. Hey, Mousy! I know you're in there. Come quietly, or we drag you out by your round little ears. <laughs> you know what happens when you don't pay up. I, I, I did! You had the boy! You're the one who screwed up! Shut up, guys. Yes, boss. Uh, this nightmare will never end. Maybe it's time for a new career. Mom! Hey, sweetie! Mom is so happy to see you. Look, 
Dad has been giving me aunties. What did I say about candies? Hmm, they're yummy. That's okay. Daddy has been eating some too. Is that so? Uh, guilty. I need to go to jail again to get some oblivion. It'll be okay. I'm the judge here, and I find you innocent. Hurrah! <laughs> I love you, honey. Never thought I'd hear that. Never again. I'll always be there. You both. Ah, never thought I'd be happy to hear this victory. So bad it's the last time. Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm leaving. Leaving? To where? Anywhere. You, you can't just do that. I thought you'd be happy. No, well... I'd just like to understand. It's simple. I've never been this close to losing everything. And this made me realize I don't have much at all. I've spent my life on science. Day in, day out. Now, I just want a normal life. I understand. Someday, I might do the same. I... I'll miss you. Hmm. Me too, friend. Well, to a new journey. Hello, Mr. Bear. I'm glad you came. Hey, name's RJ. Why you call me? Well, my uncle's gone. Not sure if I should do this. Or even if I can. But... The slums need protection. I can't do it all. Not alone. Are you in? Not a cop. Got fired. You're kidding, right? You even kept your uniform. Doesn't that uniform mean anything to you? I'll hire you back. For real? Of course. I can't rely on these tin cans. Especially after what happened. Thank you. Whoa! Just don't crush me! I need to be alive to run this place! <sighs> I don't even know why I'm here. It's not like you left any belongings here, Mom. Hmm? On the screen? Clay, this is goodbye. I only have a few seconds left to send this message before my body fails me. I am about to... Give my life to save the slums you despise so much. To be fair, I should have died years ago. I was living on borrowed time. To be with you, just for a little longer. To see this exceptional man you've become. I've loved every second, but that time's passing. Please understand, living isn't easy. Thinking for yourself, doing what you really have to. It's time to make your own choices. I hope I taught you what's right. It's be strong, son. Oh, please be nice to everyone. To Wherever I am, I will watch over you. And I will always love you. Mom? Awaiting orders. Stubot? Shoo. I'm not your master. Yes, you are. Really? Cool! Then, um... I know! You're the new director! That's it! Now do your job! Okay! Great! I can leave this place in good hands! Preparing next lesson! Titled, Humans Never Learn! required for full recovery. Master, I must return you to deep sea. This is a mere setback. I've waited this long. 
I can wait a bit more. Brock, you thought you had got rid of me. Wiped me clean off the slate forever. But here I am. And soon enough, I'll awaken. And I'll retake what's mine. This time, I'll get close to you, my sons. <laughs>